Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this review and if you're returning a viewer or subscriber Welcome back. So you guys today we're going to be diving into the highly highly coveted Bath and Body Works banana milkshake candle you guys this candle has been out for about a month or so I think it came out when they launched semi-annual sale or right around that time and I have to say I initially when I first started seeing the reviews pop up and everything I I don't know I wasn't super into it just because I thought maybe it was gonna be like a Laffy Taffy banana type scent or I don't know what I was thinking but needless to say it is in my hands here and I have most certainly burned it just a little bit um, I was originally intending on keeping it in my no burn collection because um, those of you guys who followed me for a while, I do have a no burn collection. I have some candles that are just really unique, ones that at least unique to me that I never intend on burning. I just have them because I think they're really cool candles. So this was going to be one of them, but I saw so many of you guys burning it and so many people stocking up on Instagram, you guys. I know some of you out there have shown pictures where you have probably purchased like 10, 20, 30 of these candles to stock up. It's just that good and it's just that popular. So sad to say this is the only one I have. Um, when I went in store, there was quite a few of them. I was trying to not get tons of candles, so I did grab one just because I wanted it for a collection. I kind of wish I would have grabbed another one, but now everyone is sold out. So needless to say, that's the little backstory on this candle and how I wound up grabbing it. I really just bought into the hype because everyone just kept talking about it. So I'm glad I did, you guys. I did a little test run on banana split milkshake two nights ago. I had it burning in my bathroom, and wow, I can see why it's so popular. It smells amazing. The first thing, and what it smells like on cold is what you get while burning. At least that was my experience. Let me read you the notes and then I'm gonna tell you what it reminds me of. So the notes for banana split milkshake include sweet banana, chocolate syrup, and cherry on top. I don't know if I get a cherry scent. To me, it doesn't have much of a cherry. To me, it almost has like a frothy banana milkshake type scent. It's just a very frothy type, um, almost maybe a little bit of a liqueur, not in an overly liquor type, you know, scent, but a little bit of maybe that frothy liqueur bite to it. I don't know if that's the cherry, if they have those Mendocino cherry, maybe a like liqueur note in here. But to me, you guys, if you remember, like when you go to the grocery store, sometimes they have by the fruit section, they'll have these little packets of shake mix. I know I've seen orange banana and I think strawberry, and they usually strategically place them right by the fruit. So it you grab it and it's like a powdered mix and it's like lightly flavored for whatever that fruit is. You add like milk and ice. Well, I always used to grab the banana one and you put it in the blender with a banana and then the powder and then milk and ice and it just makes this amazing banana milkshake or fruit milkshake, whatever one you um, wind up doing. And you guys, that's exactly what this smells like. I don't know if they could have gotten any closer to a straight up banana milkshake type scent. It smells amazing. The throw is phenomenal. It's really strong. One to 10, 10 of course being, you know, super crazy pumpkin pecan waffle strength. This is super strong, you guys. At least in my bathroom, it was coming in at probably like an eight and a half, maybe a nine. I didn't try it out in like an open area. Um, this is one of those novelty scents that I really wanted to try just because it smells really interesting. It smells great. Do I want my whole home to smell like this? I don't know if like for a long extended period of time I would want my home to smell like bananas, but you can definitely trick someone into <laughs> thinking that you're making like milkshakes or smoothies or something. It's just that realistic. And I know sometimes Bath and Body Works, their candles aren't always the most realistic, authentic type fragrances. You know, Yankee kind of has that nailed down. I think they did an amazing job on this candle. And I do hope 
to maybe get my hands on another one. I know that online people are even posting Bath and Body Works has, you know, limit 1000 or limit like 300 because you guys are just so into this candle that you're posting how many Bath and Body Works has remaining on their website. It's that popular, you guys. So if you have thought about trying this one or if you're in store and you're maybe toying around with the idea of trying it and you have the opportunity and the funds to grab one, I definitely would. I think this is going to be one of those candles that people remember for a long time and it's just because it's so unique and it's so different. I don't really plan on burning this one anymore unless I wind up getting my hands on another one. I'm going to keep it in my no burn collection just because it's so unique and such an interesting, fun novelty fragrance. So you guys, those are my thoughts on Bath & Body Works Banana Split Milkshake. It's an awesome, awesome candle. It would have been really cool to see if they did a wallflower in that. I feel like sometimes when they do such fun novelty scents like this, they don't do a wallflower. Maybe that would be a really hard scent to nail down in a fragrance oil. I don't quite know how they would do that or how it would smell, but that would be really cool to see that as well. So you guys, I will definitely purchase this one again if I'm even able to get my hands on it. I don't know if it's going to be sold out. Hopefully they'll bring it back before the sale ends. I just don't know. It could be one of those ones where it's for a short time and then it's gone forever. So if you guys like it and you're able to grab it and get your hands on one, I would definitely recommend it. So you guys, that is it for me today. If you guys are on Instagram, come find me at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. You guys, as always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.